Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today we are going to discuss about token unlocks. In fact, today 2.4 million tokens will be distributed to seed investors for a worth of around 17 million dollars. In this video I'm going to explain the effect of the next token unlocks on the price of the internet computer protocol as always based on data, charts, metrics and indicators. So let's dig deep into the rabbit hole. Okie dokie guys, let's start with the supply on exchange hot wallets. I did record a, a video a couple of weeks ago regarding the supply on exchange hot and cold wallets. Based on my analysis, the supply on exchange cold wallets is much higher than on exchange hot wallets. I don't have a chart for exchange cold wallets, however, we can track the chart for exchange hot wallets. As you may see, the supply on exchanges has been dropping in the last few weeks. However, last month, before uh, the token unlock on the 10th of June to the 11th of June, we have seen an increase in the amount of tokens on exchanges. 1.6 million tokens were added, after that 2.5 million tokens were removed, and then after that we have seen a jump and then a drop once again. What does this mean and how will the next token unlocks affect the price of ICP? And of course, I did mention that there will be selling pressure until the end of the spring of 2025. Therefore, we can expect that the price will be impacted by those token unlocks. However, we had token unlocks in the past as well, in the past three years, in fact. So we can take a look how big those tokens unlock events were and how was the price impacted. So first of all, let's take a look at a past events, past unlock events for ICP. We had a huge, actually, unlock event on the day when ICP was launched when 44.52 million tokens were distributed to early backers. After that, the amount of tokens that were distributed each month was much lower, around 5.4 million tokens, and these tokens were distributed to seed and private sale investors, strategic round investors, pre-sale investors, and airdrop. How long did this last? This lasted until July, I believe, of 2022. Let's double check. Yes. And in July, we got rid of pre-sale and airdrop. Therefore, in July of 2022, we were paying 3.23 million tokens each month to seed and private sale investors and strategic round investors. This went on for quite some time and last month we had the last big token unlock of 3.23 million tokens and we got rid actually last month of strategic round investors. Now if we take a look at the upcoming distribution today as you may see we are distributing less tokens, 2.37 million or around 2.4 million tokens that are worth around $17 million. Therefore, this will go on until the end of spring of next year. Therefore, we can still expect selling pressure on the open market. However, as you may see, the amount of tokens that are being distributed has been dropping over time. Currently, 80% of all seed and private sale investors are fully vested and all other participants that took part at the Genesis token allocation are fully vested, which is something very important to take in consideration. Okay, now let's take a look at the Genesis token allocation. I did mention already 99.2% of the supply was in the hands of less than 1,000 participants. If we disregard the community airdrop, 
only 0.80% of the supply was distributed to more than 50,000 investors. However, currently, there are, and let's check that, how many meaningful wallets? 125-ish thousand meaningful wallets for the Internet Computer Protocol compared to, let's say, 1,000 meaningful participants or even less, actually, the 1,000 meaningful participants during uh, Genesis, at Genesis. Okay, so now let's take a look to see which participants are vested when they were vested and had they their opportunity to sell their tokens. So early contributors got a whopping 44.5 million tokens, which equates to 9.50% of the supply at the Genesis. And these tokens were distributed to less than 50 people. So if we divide this amount, 44.5 million tokens, by 50 participants, let's even say that 50 participants took part, this is almost a million tokens per phase, around 900, uh, or rather 900,000, I'm sorry, tokens per person, which is incredibly, uh, this is a very large amount of Internet Computer Protocol, which is worth around a little bit less than $7 million. So very big chunk of ICP. Now, let's take a look at this. Seed investors, 24.72% of the supply was distributed to 370 participants. Okay, now let's do a quick calculation. Let's say uh, this is almost 116 million. So let's take a calculator here. So 116 divided by 370 participants. And we get 313,000 tokens that were distributed per face, more or less on average, okay? So now uh, we know that they paid $0.035 per token in 2017 during the initial funding round of ICP, which are going to show as well in next slides. So 313,000, we multiply that by the price 0 0.035. So they paid on average around $11,000 for their initial investment, okay? How much does it, uh, is this investment worth today? So from $11,000, okay, 313,000 tokens multiplied, let's say roughly $7, okay? This is now worth almost $2.2 million. And this is why I always mention, guys, all those seed investors, as soon as they get their tokens, as soon as these tokens will be distributed when they're vested, they have a huge abnormal incentive to sell because their cost basis is ridiculously low. Imagine if you invested $11,000 and you got 2.2 million, would you sell your position? Of course you would. I would. I would straight away. <laughs> I wouldn't wait for initial two, three, five X. No, I would sell straight away at whatever price, at $10, at $5, at $7, $15, doesn't matter. I would DCA out of my position over time as soon as I get the tokens so I can move on and I can invest in other projects as well. Or if I'm really a big believer in the ICP, I would sell part of those. I would lock a good, I would lock a part of those, maybe, I don't know, 20% for eight years and forget about it. And I would cash out the rest so I can, you know, plan for retirement or whatever. Okay. That's my way of thinking. Okay. Uh, let's now uh, check the other metrics here. Strategic. So these investors, just to uh, end my thought here, they are not fully vested yet. However, 80% of all this chunk, big chunk of tokens are already distributed. They had their chance to sell. 
And in my opinion, they did sell. Okay, so that's the point here. Strategic partnership, 32.8 million tokens. Are these tokens already distributed and vested to less than 50 participants? Yes, they are. If we go back here and if we take a look at past events and we scroll all the way down here, even uh, let's say November of 2021, as you may see, these people got their tokens already and they are fully, fully vested. They had their chance to sell. Did they sell? We'll take a look at their cost basis in a second. So uh, let's go back here. So they are vested. Pre-sale, as you have seen also, if I go a step back, pre-sale already we have fully vested these investors. So these tokens are already potentially on the open market. Strategic partnership, this is not this one. It's something different. And from what I have seen there, I don't really know to whom this got distributed. However, uh, this is already out as well. Community airdrop, <clears throat> this was already distributed at a launch. So these people were the people that participated uh, in some Slack groups or they got the newsletter before the project was even launched and so on and so forth. So they got their airdrop and they could have sold already. Initial community and uh, developers, of course, this is in line with all of these other things that I will show. And I believe they did not have a vesting schedule, at least from what I know. So node operators, Internet Computer Association, Definity Foundation, this is all clear. Team members, so they had already the possibility to sell as well advisors and other third parties and so on and so forth. I want to mention on this big chunk that is held by the Definity Foundation, as much as I know, they did not sell these tokens. However, what they are selling are staking rewards. So uh, from what I can see here, there is currently selling pressure from seed investors potential in the future selling pressure from initial participants that did not sell their tokens yet and selling pressure from the Definity Foundation, not for the whole chunk because most of this is locked for a longer period of time. However, of course, they will need to sell the voting rewards, the staking rewards in order to pay the developers and so on and so forth. So there is selling pressure still from these participants, even though much less than at the Genesis. Okay, now uh, let's move on. Uh, and I did mention already that there will be a procedure from moving the liquidity from all of these participants to retail investors. So at the time, less than 1,000 participants, now currently 125,000 ish meaningful wallets. What does this mean? That these wallets contain at least two ICP. So there are no leftovers and so on and so forth. Okay. Let's now uh, move on uh, to this article here. A very important article. I will cover this once again in a separate video because it has been many months since I covered this. However, for all investors that are new investors, very important to understand that as we have seen here, some tokens were sold at Genesis or rather at the launch of the ICP. The price of ICP was heavily, heavily manipulated at launch. It should never have been worth $700 per ICP, but in my personal opinion, it should have been worth between 30 and $50 at launch with all the hype, okay? How did the price reach $700? Because ICP started trading in the future market four days before it was listed on Coinbase and Binance. What does this mean? Due to the fact that futures are instruments that have a high leverage, 
all these investors pri uh, pumped the price of ICP as a balloon as they knew there is a ton of hype at launch and therefore they sold or they simply shorted at the top and they made money in the process. So this is how the market was manipulated. This is how many retail investors lost faith in the project and so on and so forth. Okay, I want to show now uh, the cost basis for these investors that uh, were vested or they are still getting their tokens and they're not vested yet. So see the round, as I mentioned, 0 0.035, which is ridiculously low. However, all these other investors that took part at the initial funding rounds in 2018 and later, they paid and a fair amount, I would say, $1.9 per token. This is fair, in my personal opinion. This is fair. Private round, $4.58. And we know that the price dipped in the correction under this valuation. So um, a price of around $2, in my opinion, was even $1 was fair. Okay, fair. However, $0.035, this is ridiculously cheap. It was, and I mentioned already, this was a big mistake from Definity. Definity um, did this funding round, or at least they listed this price before the real uh, bull market, the explosion of the total tree in 2017. Therefore, uh, this was a poor piece of judgment from Definity, my personal opinion. However, now we are uh, dealing with the consequences of that. History cannot be changed, and this is how it is. Okay, let's now move on and uh, let's see uh, these rounds. As I explained already, how it went. You can see also here on the Masari uh, report um, what went on and the reasoning behind these prices and behind these rounds. And let's just keep in mind that these investors, most of them that did take part uh, and of the funding rounds, they provided liquidity February 2017, then January 2018 and August of 2018, many, many years ago, okay? So some of them are getting tokens now after waiting for more than seven years. To get some tokens okay this is something also to keep in mind so what is the potential effect of this token unlocks on the price of course as i mentioned there will be selling pressure and currently we are at the key level for icp however i still believe that if there will be an increase in the user base if there will be an increase in the number of retail investors and if they can find ways to attract institutional investors, the fact that we have still some tokens to be unlocked doesn't personally worry me because 80% of the tokens are already disbursed and they're already distributed. However, of course, this is very worrisome if there will not be growth, if there will not be an increase in the use base, if there will not be institutional adoption for ICP, and if there will not be an increased marketing effort for ICP. So this is the reality, fully objective for you, so that we can understand the amounts and the effect. So basically, now, uh, when are we going to get rid of these investors? So according um, to crypto rank, this is going to happen if we take a look uh, at the upcoming events. In um, in June, I believe they mentioned here in June of 2025. I have another source that claims that the last um, unlock should be in April of 2025. In my personal opinion, it should be May of 2025 because we had 48 unlocks for the seed investors. The first one was in May, as we have seen, of 2021, and therefore the last one should also be May of 2025, exactly four years later, exactly one full cycle of four years. Okay, guys, uh, that's more or less it for today. Uh, I might have one more 
interesting video, especially regarding the price of ICP that is coming up today. I will not promise because I'm fairly busy at the moment. However, I will uh, give my best so we can take a look at the fear and greed index. We can take a look at the total tree, Bitcoin dominance, as always, price action, potential monetary policy, what could happen in September, October, is the price going to react and so on and so forth. If you like the content, as always, smash the like button. Of course, if you did not yet, take a look at my uh, group on open chat. Link is down in the description below where we uh, comment about many, many topics with many members of the community. I have around 600 members currently there, so it's fairly interesting. And as always, if you like the content, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.